13. Uh, let's see if we can get this done properly without any crap. So, on uh, day 12, you know, we went over the matches there Jeff Cobb, Shingo, X, Yano, Naito, Juice, and all them. So, Dow Jones, he gave his synopsis. You know, I'm going to read that. Uh, he said, Cobb needs a longer rest once the G1 is over. Once he has rested, he can start training for the next G1. His match against Shingo was very good, and Takagi looked great, even in defeat. I'm like, yeah, I can, I can, we can agree with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the next one was, I was so happy to see Mox lose to Yano. We, we were too. Yeah. We, we, we were so, yes. It was like a sense of satisfaction. Yeah, it was very fulfilling. He says, I do not care what anyone says. Mox deserves to lose for letting his guard down. The look on his face after the match was hilarious. And it was that bewildered, almost kind of evil uh, when, when uh, Zack Sabre Jr. beat him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Mox wore it well. Just, no, how could I? How could I have lost? It's like, man, shut the fuck up. That's, that's kind of where I was. Mm. And Juice versus Nido was good, but that ear looked nasty. Cut to the ears, very painful. Juice taking off the shirts was a highlight. And, and it was. <laughs> Naito was laughing his ass off. Mm -hmm. That was. Just for a second, I thought she became a Tai Chi fan. She did. She <laughs> did. He was watching Ghetto beat up. Uh, watching Ghetto get beat up was beautiful. It, it was. Loved it. He said the match was okay. If Tachi won, I would have been pissed. See, and, and you would have been right to be pissed. No, I would have. See, that's the thing. Because he would have beaten a superior wrestler. And that shit gets old. Aside from the fact that Tai Chi and, and, and Tai Chi just blows. But you get tired of seeing folks beat people they shouldn't be beating. Tai Chi just hasn't proven himself. It's going to take a while for him to prove himself. Mm, no, I'm going to put him back right where they were because you made no, that fuck comment. Fuck that shit. Oh, piss ant comment. No, it's true. It's going to take him a while to prove himself. Man, ain't nobody got 50 years, man. He ain't got 50 years. God gonna be damn it. Man, all right, I'm moving on. Shit, I'm just trying to get past his comments. I don't know why you being like this to me. Ow, what the fuck? Ghetto versus Ishii. Goto. Oh, Goto. Yeah, Goto... Oh, versus Ishii never disappoint. Goto fought like a warrior and picked up a well-earned victory. I want to see more angry Goto. He needs to bring out his inner Ishii in more matches, which is absolutely mm -hmm. true. Ishii, Definitely. Ishii is never going to take time off. He should, though, as I like as I like to see Ishii healthy. Ishii versus Suzuki for the IWGP Heavyweight title would be amazing. But that would never happen because Ghetto is, a, is an idiot. Yes. Yeah. And he says thanks for the shout out. You are welcome. You are welcome. So let's get on with, uh, with, with, with this show. Let's get on with it. So we're going to breeze through these quick because I am in dire need. So Kenta versus Bad Luck Fale. Really good match. Mm -hmm. It was back and forth. Although yeah. Fale showed, he, he sold way more than he needed to. Yeah. Kenta. Should have done a little better. I, I wish Kenta would definitely add some moves to his arsenal instead of the same old damn kicks, mm -hmm. waiting and waiting and trash talking. And but he's not active in the in the ring enough. But the best part, the best part I, I, of the I, match. I'm being I'm being honest with you. The match didn't pick up until Chase Owens. Uh, he had to run to the back. <laughs> Because he forgot yeah, something, yeah. and then <laughs> that distracted Kenta, and Bad Luck finally rolled him up. Yeah, nice schoolboy. Ain't no way in the world you can get out of a schoolboy with, with Bad Luck finally on you. Not like that, you know. What'd you say? He could have what? He could have raped Kenta right there in the ring, and it wouldn't have been a damn thing he could have done about it. You won't get raped because <laughs> he couldn't have got that big man off him. No, you mount him in front of everybody and just deal with it. Uh, so Bad Luck. Wins and Kenta goes home. Lance Archer versus Zack Sabre Jr. That was a good match. That was great. Lance, Lance showing just more. showed more of what he can do, how versatile he is. And uh, legitimately, Zack should have won that. If it was a legitimate wrestling match, Zack would have won inside of two minutes. Yeah. 
just keeping it real. But Lance did well. He mm-hmm. sold. You know, Zach sold. They did great. They did good. You know, I actually enjoyed this Zach Saber it, match it, because of Lance Archer. <laughs> yeah, Lance. Like, 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 Tao Jones says, he is the most valuable player in this G one. He's just unrecognized. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. So, uh, Saber wins, bullshittingly, but Saber wins. Lance goes home. Evil versus Will Ospreay. Fuck that match. I'm happy. I will. I really won't happy with the outcome of that match. I thought Evil won. No, Evil lost. He did? No, 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 Evil won. Yeah. He won, but it's what what bugs me is the build up cause Zach, not Zach, but uh, Osprey takes a beating. Mm-hmm. And you sitting there like, oh, here it come. Here it come. You gonna do all this shit. Yeah, that's right. It's it's flooding back to me now. It's flooding back. The match, I I wasn't happy with the match. I didn't like it. I thought both could have easily performed a whole lot better. But at the same time, you know, in a sense, I know it's jacked up, but Evil won, I'm happy. Yeah. Osprey lost. Uh, so, Evil wins, Osprey goes home. Ibushi Kota versus Tanahashi Hiroshi. And Hiroshi, yeah, look, just getting it straight out, he lost. And he should have. Mm-hmm. He should have. Yeah. He just can't keep pace with someone healthy. Like Kota, well, Ibushi, and at the same time, he's had his, what, seven or eight years in the sun? So, you know, Tanahashi is, he's, he's, I'd like to see him in higher profile matches every once in a while. I'd like to see him win the heavyweight title again, one more time, and actually defend it a few times. Mm -hmm. But for this G1, for this moment, Tanahashi had to lose. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, man, Ibushi won. You think he won the whole G1? Ibushi. I mean, you, yeah, you thought he won the only title on the planet. Mm-hmm. Just, I'm like, he's done. He he won. He won. Every other match, <laughs> win or lose, yeah, he's gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah. He's got a lifetime contract with New Japan Pro Wrestling. I have no idea what he did, but um, they need to reward him well because mm-hmm. they've been trying to get a hold of him for a long time, for about five or six years before he came back. So they must have offered him something amazing. Mm-hmm. So Ibushi goes, uh, it wins, and Tanahashi, he, he goes home. Tanahashi looked good. He could have performed better. He, just, he needs rest. He needs to get probably knee replacements. He'll be all right. Sonata versus Okada Kazuchika. I'll be honest with you. That match was bullshit. That match was such bullshit. Now, Sonata, he won. He did win. But that was bullshit. They, they Sonata won, but they still didn't let him perform the way he can. Yeah, he did not perform like he should. Not even. I'm like, it seems it was like it too. Like he gonna lose, cause he ain't doing shit. He was he was getting housed by Okada, and Okada won't doing nothing special. Just doing the same old stick. He Okada beat the hell out of him the way Archer beat the hell out of Okada. And Okada has so much shit to talk on Sonata. And he and, and and yeah, Okada coming to the ring looking all cocky and shit. Mm-hmm. That was different. Mm-hmm. But um, at the end, uh, I forgot where they were, but that was um Sonata's favorite place. He liked that place. Osaka Joe, wasn't it? Osaka Joe, you think? Yeah, because they were saying Osaka wasn't good for IWGP people and the heavyweight champion. Uh, I I like when they get all their phones out. They they just did it. Mm-hmm. And they were bright. Mm-hmm. I thought that was so cool. It'd be cool if they could dim, like turn all the lights off and then have their phones on. They did turn the lights down. Wait, but it was kind of damn. Them, the, the phones there are strong oh, because nice. it looked like it looked like they had a dim overhead light on. Mm-hmm. They did turn the lights off. I think he asked them to, and they were they were ready. Yep, they were ready. <laughs> 
I thought it was a good event, more or less. Some could have performed better. They should have. I think now it's getting to the point where the G1 is going to start wearing and tearing yeah, on I was thinking real we're starting bad. To, I think we're starting to see some they, of the wear and tear. They get more rest this time, but at the same time, it's never rest enough. And so the wear and tear started much later this time. And uh, so, you know, hey, that's all we got to say about this. I hope y'all uh, listened and enjoyed and, and whatnot. And you got any comments or whatnot? You know, leave them down there in the comment section. Come on. You know, Tal, Tal Jones, he, he does a, a great job. You know, don't 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 let him outdo y'all. Where's your pride? Where's your dignity? He, he does a great uh, synopsis of the whole event. You know, and that's just comments. Y'all got to be able to do something. If you challenge me on something I said, that's a, I welcome that. I ain't saying I'm right or anything, but, you know, shoot. I like to get a different of opinion. So I'm gonna get out of here. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning and CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Rose, CR Wrestling Commentary, and co-host of Humble Talent Wrestling on Twitch. Uh, and uh, there's Cedra Owens for The Wicked Orchard. Check her out on YouTube and on Medium. Go to Medium for you look up Cedra Owens or The Wicked Orchard and read what she's got to say. But uh, with that said, thank you for listening.